Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got something that I promised you guys. Let me show you what we're working on today. So pause the video here and take a screenshot if you want. I got some 410 watt panels off, off of Facebook Marketplace. Got four of them. These measure 44 and a half wide by just about 68 inches tall. Once again, 44 and a half wide by just about 68 inches tall. Now, you may remember the solar awning where I had six panels total. Well, now with four panels total, I'm going to have more wattage than I did with the six. So combined, this will be a 1,640 watt setup with all four of these mounted on the roof. Now these have a little bit of a larger footprint compared to the old panels. The old panels are 66 by 39. So these are a little bit bigger. Um, my calculations show that this lip right here is gonna hang off the side of the box. Not a big deal. Um, I'm thinking all of the Unistrut and everything I have up there to mount the panels will still work. All of the hardware will still work because I noticed that these have these pre-drilled holes for um, 3 8 hardware. So fingers crossed that's all gonna work out. But the first thing we've gotta do is go up on the rooftop and do some demo. Um, let's talk about these panels. There's a guy on Facebook Marketplace, his name is Alex. He's got about 300 of these in stock from right now when I'm posting this video. They are 200 bucks a piece. Um, if you try to buy them from online, you're looking at about 350 to 450 bucks a panel plus the shipping. Alex does not ship these. He's not going to go through the logistical nightmare to ship these. So if you want these panels, I'm going to leave a link in the description of the video for the Facebook Marketplace ad. Let them know that I sent you. And you're going to have to go pick them up. He lives out in Canby, Oregon, off of Malino Road. So if you're willing to make that journey and save yourself... I don't know how many panels you're going to put up, but it could be thousands of dollars that you're saving. Um, you're going to want to contact him. Like I said, he's got 300 of these left. He had 800 of them earlier this year. They sell pretty fast. So you're going to want to contact him sooner rather than later if you're looking to do your habitat build and you want some serious wattage on the most current panels that they offer. And these are really nice black looking sleek panels, 25 year warranty. Um, okay, enough about that. <clears throat> I will also leave a link in the description for these um, MC4 combiners, parallel combiners. I'm going to run these in parallel just like the old panels. Uh, but other than that, I guess uh, we're going to get started.
deep is that? guys there you have it we got them all mounted it took I don't know four or five hours only because I had to custom make some brackets that you saw me putting together at the end there we didn't have any more unistrut brackets so I ran to um, Ace Hardware and put, picked up some reinforcement brackets and cut them up and painted them and made those work for the uh, corner supports on these panels these are actually really simple to install um, and yeah, they're already uh, up and running and drawn in power. Let's go inside the shelter and uh, we'll give it the mini split test. 
as I promised, there is a bit of an overhang. It might be an inch and a half, two inches if you're lucky. Uh, I don't know if you can see it on camera there, the brackets that I made to go in there. They look really nice on the truck with that dark color, black, the black color. I was still able to get my mini awning installed up there. Let's go inside the shelter here and we'll, uh, we'll give them a test. Okay, right now with it just sitting idle, not really doing too much, uh, it's drawn in 200 and some watts. But let's, uh, let's turn the mini split on. It's pretty warm today. I, I would say it's getting close to 70 degrees. Um, it's only 67 in here. But I want to turn this on and see uh, if we can make uh, the panels go crazy and the inverter go crazy. So. see here we'll go to mode we definitely want it on cool come back here here it goes it gave me some warning saying that the recommended room temperature was somewhat low and it was recommending that we set it higher than 61 degrees, which is as low as it'll go, but the compressor just kicked on there. So we'll see how much we ramp up. AC versus PV charger, here we go. Looks like the uh, solar's attempting to keep up with the loads. Solar is ramped up to almost 700 watts to keep up with the AC load. So they're definitely working really good, so I'm happy about that. But other than that, I think that's probably going to be it for this episode, guys. If you like this episode, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And remember, I'm going to leave a link in the description for these panels. So you guys that are building out your trucks that you want to deal on some panels, you're going to want to contact Alex and uh, let him know that I sent you, and he'll hook you up. But other than that, I hope you guys are staying safe, taking care of each other. And as always, I will catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.